What's up, comic book fans? It's the Emerald Enthusiast of the Multiverse Musings Podcast Network. And as you can see, I'm here in the central power battery, but I'm getting ready to hit the road. I'm going to take one of my kiddos to build a bear today. But you never know what I might find along the way. If I can find some interesting footage of comics or perhaps some action figures, this is for another installment of my action figure hunting vlog. So hopefully I'll see you on the other side. Look, it's the book of Bear Buffett. But a bunch. I had to get one dad joke in. It's the story of a teddy bear bitten by a radioactive spider. So I didn't get any action figures today. I didn't do a lot of hunting. It was mainly a day for me to just spend time with my kiddo. And after I took them to build a bear, then we shared some takeout. However, on the way back, I saw a comic book shop where I found a stack of Green Lantern comics. And I thought I'd let you see what's inside this bag. So I'm going to talk about a couple of issues here. Um, these are the two, I think, favorites that I found. This is Green Lantern. This is part of Volume 2. This is number 100. And this was written by the late, great Dennis O'Neill. We'll talk about that in a second. And also this one, this is 189, and there's something very special in this one, too. But let me show you some of the others. The thing is about Volume 2. Volume 2 is the first like Green Lantern series. That's the one that features Hal Jordan that started with Showcase number 22 and then eventually Green Lantern number 1. Uh, this is the Green Lantern series that most people know because this is the longest running one from the Silver Age. And I have all of these either digitally or in hard covers or trade paperback. So I have the whole run. And I never really set out to like collect all of these, but the thing about it is I keep finding them, and a lot of times I find really good deals on them. So you see, this is number 124 through 126. Love these covers. And so someday I just may end up with a full, like, original collection of Volume 2. Here we have the DC Special here. Always love these, like kind of one off type things. Because sometimes some really good stories come out of these. Here we have issue number 193. Really like this cover. This is 192. Steve Englehart and Joe Staten. Here's actually one of the few from Volume 3 that I didn't have. I don't know why I've never been able to find an original of this one. This is number 143. Really like this issue. And also issue number 150. Yeah. So yeah, I got quite a few good Green Lantern comics. Got good deals on them. This issue... Actually, it's, it's ironic that uh, we just talked about this on the Emerald Echo podcast. Uh, this issue is where Jon Stewart kisses Kat Matui. And again, remember, she's an alien and she tells him, you know, a kiss won't mean anything to me because, you know, your, your rituals, you know, your traditions are different than mine. And he kisses her and all of a sudden she's like, I think I understand. So, you know, John. The man's got game. So remember to tune into the Emerald Echo podcast, and we'll talk more about that. That actually does have a little bit of a bearing on the current series. So certainly check into our latest uh, latest episodes of the Emerald Echo podcast. And also here, this is the 100th issue. This is kind of the biggest get of the haul. And I really like this because this features... This is... Airwave number two. So if you don't know who Airwave two is, it's actually Hal Jordan. On this cover, you see Hal Jordan with Hal Jordan. This is actually a Mike Grell cover. I really like Mike Grell. Actually, this is Harold Jordan, the younger cousin of 
Hal Jordan. And this is his first appearance as Air Wave 2. And <laughs> they end up in the same place, and the younger Hal Jordan, you know, easily figures out his older cousin's identity, and he asks him to be a mentor to him. So uh, I really do like this appearance and, you know, sort of the, uh, the family revelation here. I think that's really cool. Um, this issue <laughs> also features an appearance by the villain Master Tech, and I'm going to put up a picture here. And <laughs> just wow, uh, you know, I don't necessarily think that he's badly written. He actually does have some potential, you know, obviously, you know, the late Dennis O'Neill, the legendary Dennis O'Neill knew what he was doing, but this design, like the hairstyle and the glasses and the mustache and everything, this, I don't know, reminds me of like a lot of DJs and how, well, ju and just regular guys, how they looked. Uh, when I was a kid, and so I don't don't necessarily think this is a visually well designed villain, but uh, nonetheless, I really like the nostalgia of having this issue. Yeah, it's it's in it's in good shape. It's one of these. It's from 1978, so it's not easy to find. And if you buy it online, of course, you know you end up paying shipping, and uh, it's not that expensive. I see it going for depending on condition, like ten to fifteen dollars. So. I was really happy to have that. Um, and also, <laughs> I want to show you an advertisement that's in this. Here we go. <laughs> a BB gun being shot inside. What could go wrong shooting inside your house? Anyway, but yeah, I just like you know going through these and, and having the nostalgia of something that has passed through lots of readers and collectors' hands over the years. Um, that, just, that just always gives me a charge. Pardon the pun. Anyway... So here are my two kind of big gets for the day, um, two issues that I'm really fond of. So I hope you have enjoyed uh, this action figure slash comic book hunting vlog entry. Remember to catch me on the Multiverse Musings vidcast that's available right here on YouTube. And I'll be back to the internet with more comic book related content soon. But until we meet again, this has been the Emerald Enthusiast, and thanks for watching.